Hey y'all, Lavender Wall here. So, as I was building, I realized that the people were all complaining about not having services, which is bad, especially if I wanted to grow the city effectively. So, I decided that I should probably work on that in this episode. However, I also wanted to add something that I've noticed is usually forgotten about in this game, and that would be churches. So I figured I might as well make one in the city. Also, Georgia is part of a region in the United States called the Bible Belt because of the high percentage of Christian people living in that region. So it would make sense if there are at least a couple churches in the city. The first thing I did was to actually make the first church. For the actual building, I used this medium community church from the workshop. This kind of reminded me of a couple of churches near my house, so I thought that this would fit well. Next, I got into the parking lot layout. Usually churches of this size have a decent amount of parking, so using the parking lot roads mod, I attempted to do that. So for the layout of the actual parking lot, I based it off of a few churches near where I live, specifically these three churches. Next, I got into detailing. So first, I started with some decorative trees and bushes. For these, I used the regular bush pack and coconut tree pack from the workshop. I really like these trees and they're super great quality. So as I've been using them already throughout the series, I would plan on continuing using them. Something that I haven't shown before that I've done a couple times is this transition bit from the parking lot roads to main roads. So what I do is to make it appear more smooth is I use a combination of poppable asphalt and Runix 69 road decals. There is a decal in particular that is essentially a middle shade between the dark and the light, so it's like a perfect transition piece. Also, something that I've used a lot are these trees from this generic tree pack on the workshop. These trees are super generic looking, which really makes them fit into almost any build super well. Now that I was done with the church, I decided to move on to the services. So the first service building that I made was a police station. For this, I used this old police station asset from the workshop. I thought this would fit really well in the other side, so I decided to place it in there. For the parking lot layout, I put like a small lot adjacent to the station and then boxed in the rest of the lot with some of the parking lot roads. For detailing the police station, I continued with the combination of the Ronix 69 road decals, the generic tree pack, and regular bush pack. I use the same method for all the other service buildings I do, so I probably won't mention it again. The next surface I did was death care. So for this, I thought it would be cool if I made like a large cemetery. I found this modular cemetery building on the workshop that was just like a bunch of tombstones, which I thought was really good for making a custom cemetery. I also included this small church in the middle because I thought it would look nice if it was in the middle of like a giant cemetery. 
I ended up fencing in the cemetery with the zoo fence from the park DLC. Uh, I thought that it looked like a good clean wall for the cemetery. I didn't want to use the corrugated fence that I've been using or the forestry fence that I also had used because I didn't think that would look right with the cemetery. The last service I did was fire. So fire is pretty necessary because, well, the city would burn down without it. Anyway, for the fire station building, I used this fire station that I found on the workshop. I thought it looked pretty cool and that it would fit well with the other buildings in this area. Before I get into the final cinematics, um, I have a Discord server, so if you're interested, make sure to join that. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe. On a personal note, y'all probably don't know this, but I applied for transfer admissions to a couple of schools for the fall 2020 semester. I was just accepted by the University of Virginia into their urban planning program. I'm really happy about that and there's a solid chance I'll be attending there next semester. It's kind of far from home, but it's a really good program and I think it'll open a lot of doors for me. Sorry for the little ramble there, um, anyway, here are the cinematics. Thank you so much for watching, if you made it all the way through this video, I really appreciate it. Watch time is a huge part of the YouTube algorithm, so by watching all the way through, you really help my channel grow.